Hi guys, we're back with Bear. So I'm just going to do a little short drill. And I've added now, because I, I'm going with what's important. I've lost my keys and money. So here they are. For safety's sake, we just use a dollar bill. <laughs> and, but we'll put that with the keys. That would be a reasonable, I understand now why you would have the two things at once. I, it, just, it just hit me. So I've got that, I've got the phones. This is the big phone. And, oh, this is a big phone too. And just a couple phones, the keys. I'm gonna put the keys and the money together. to the side a little bit. It's not going to be as easy. Time to toughen up. All right, and I'm going to put, oh, I know, this thing I put on the side so it's not risk of falling in the pool. And this phone I'll put behind here. Reasonable. And then this, he's going to have to kind of go off camera, but I do think you should use your markers. I was thinking a lot about it too, about you know where I could set up. If I set up a white thing at the end of that real long trail that goes into the back, I mean, it would be easy to set up a platform and do really, really long sendaways because you would always be putting it in the same place. Okay, I'm gonna put the other phone over here. All right, you guys, hang on, I'll be right back. And so for this, I'm the seated handler. And, you know, ideally, you know, it could go, you can go on either side, really. You're not maybe setting up a bias for that at this point. So if your house is anything like my house, they're going to organically start picking things up. So he picked this up on his own, so I just... Alright, I'm looking in the doghouse.
So what happened was he got down there and he kind of got sucked into Skylar's force field. And so I used a very, very subliminal puppy recall to get him back. And it worked perfect. So he's gonna probably go back and look because they'll look. If I can do a convincing job of looking in there, because I've never presented that money before. Yay! 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 Oh, he didn't even tear it. Oh, be careful! All right, so there's the other thing over there. Oh, you precious angel. <laughs> oh, you precious angel. Okay, so there's two more things. I gotta do a convincing job of looking over there. It made him bend his head. Yeah, he's got it, that one. Yay! Yay! Uh, yeah. Note tonight, family. Get otter cases for your phones. They come in all styles. He got a feel for where I was looking, but yeah, that thing blends in more just hooked on the side like that. He'll find it, though. He just wasn't sure what it was. He'll go back, I think. I think he'll go back and look if he sees me looking at it. Your job, honestly, is to stare a hole in it. Yay. That was my fault. He'd probably go back, though. Because if I wouldn't have said yay, he wouldn't have turned around, and then he might have got it. Or if it falls, if I can make it fall real quick. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, once it was on the ground, it was fair game. Uh, I think I can put it back over there now. You have to look at it as the way they see. Put it a little bit lower. If he said 
what would make it better to see if it was white? He's gonna go find something else on his own. He's coming back with a stick. Uh, well, that wasn't very sneaky. Sure, it's broken by the time he gets it to you, but still. Oh, I need my basket. And brought me a leaf. All right, hang on. Let me grab my basket real quick. Got that leaf again. I'll save that so you can take it home with you. Hi, Susan. All right, I'm gonna take him out in the field in a second. But what I've got is a dog that's defaulting. Oh, sh I do think if you said I could be a lot more technical than you and I could strip I say, oh, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. There's people that do that. I mean, I would like to get. Uh, or no, 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 a tree stand on the tree and make the dog get on that. But I think in the beginning, you're doing a lot of this because you're just screaming. This is good for a lot of reasons. You don't want to completely kill off jumping because you're saying I don't like happiness. All he's got to do is move his foot at all. Anything. Anything. You get little kids and you try to get them practicing something. They make any kind of effort. Yes. And if you said, what is this getting you? A dog in very close proximity to you that's not jumping. Okay, so he will travel too. <laughs> and really, honestly, if you said that's the trajectory, I, will, I could lie to you guys. I'm, it's just happening by accident, but... If I said, that's the trajectory I want to deliver to hand, I'd expect you to say, oh, it's working perfectly. <laughs> and he actually beats me over there. It's unbelievable. You really don't want him sitting up there. I think if they sit, you should stand him up. All right, one more time. Oh, he gets your stuff before you even know it's lost. 
That's the default, though. The default is always going to be on the dog. You, you just have to do it that way. Oh, consistency is the most important thing. You got to do that because if you don't do it, you're just, honestly, you're just convoluting it if you don't do it. Anyway, he's doing unbelievable. So, picking up the keys is the default. And it's, I think it's, it's the route to go. Just the noise. The noise alone. They just like that noise. <laughs> oh, he even jumps Molly. All right, come on. Let's go down to the pond one time. Oh, that's the end of the... Oh, this is the last episode. I'll stretch it out. <laughs> Who cares? You're live every two seconds. All right, come on. I got my... Oh, hang on. I got to go grab some more treats. Hang on. Here. Wait here, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah, that was pretty cute, jumping over Molly, though. And you'll see, though. I think, you know, I think maybe what people should do is... Put your dogs in your training room and video them and go in the other room and see what they're doing. If they're avoiding the platform and stuff like the plague, that's not good. <laughs> All right, hang on. I got a dog all the way over there. I'm going to do everything I got. So, I don't know if you can see him going by, but what I did was I grabbed a pan real quick, a bowl real quick right there. I use distance, I use my voice, and I use my pager. That's what I did. All right, let's go down to the pond, because look what I got. I got this monopod that who knows when I even bought this thing, and it's a stand. So I'm going to make a stand out there by the pond so I can put you guys on a stationary. Oh, you little monkey. But if you said, well, he's jumping for joy, exactly. That's why we don't want to say we hate jumping because we're basically saying we hate happiness. And if you said there's no such thing, there's all kinds of miserable people that hate happiness. Just go on Facebook. They're everywhere. It's true. It's true. They hate happiness. They're hateful, unhappy people. All right, so he's going way away. So, 